Good morning, Rajah Scholars and Champions. Mr. Lawson here, Thursday morning with the Rajah Report. Let's see what's happening today. And of course, first I want to introduce our next Getting Acquainted uh, staff member, and that is Mr. Buck. Mr. Tom Buck has been our Impact Pathway teacher and been here at Indio High School since 2016. He came the same year I did. Um, when I joined as principal, he joined the staff, and he's been leveling up audio and video and in charge of the Impact Pathway. He's the one behind the scenes making our broadcasts work all of the time. And uh, he loves puns, funny jokes that take on jokes, and sandwiches. He was born in 1980, I think that's a seven, but who knows, you'll have to figure that out. And he didn't put it on a slide, but we wish him the best because this past year, not only um, did he get married, but they added a new member to the family, a beautiful dog. They are dog lovers. And uh, Mr. Buck has been wonderful to help me learn how to do this kind of broadcast. So congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Buck, for all you do for our school. And we want to say several happy birthdays because tomorrow there's no school. It's a professional development day for teachers to learn some of the latest and, and newest things to do to help you be successful. So there is no school tomorrow. So we've got several days of birthdays. First, tomorrow or today, happy birthday to Juan Lopez, Kevin McIntyre, Adrian Nunez, Adrian Velasquez, Edis Lopez, Rodolfo Gutierrez, Jennifer Salas, and Ivan Silva. And then... On Friday, happy birthday, Sergio Ayala, Alberto Cortez, Brandon Garcia, Utopia Layton, Evelyn Cancino, uh, Helen Rivera, Magali Ambri Salatori, and our own Mr. Crusolet. Then we'd like to say a Saturday happy birthday to Daniel Morales, Isaac Cordero, Tiana Valencia, and to our front office, Miss Ballestero. And on Sunday, to round out the weekend, a festive happy birthday to Gael Mendoza Limon, Genesis Navarro, Jesus Olvera Hernandez, and in our cafeteria, Miss Rosalie Perez. We hope all of you have a great celebration of your special day. Thank you again. Let's always work hard to spread that Raja pride, positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence in everything we do. The uh, National Honor Society is sponsoring a Seize Candy Valentine fundraiser. Help them to uh, raise money for scholarships. More information on this went to your email and to all of our social media. And the next three groups we wanna tell you about as you begin to think for classes for next year and you want to sign up, um, today I wanna to tell you a little bit about our Pride of the Desert Band. Dr. Freeman has here a slide to share with you. Um, they have our, Palm De or our Pride of the Desert Marching Band and Color Guard, Wind Symphony, Symphonic Band, Concert Band, Percussion Ensemble, Winter Guard, AP Music Theory, and Chamber Music Ensembles. And let's see if this will play. And they really do have a great time when they go on tournaments and perform and in competitions. I always have a great time going and watching them do their very best and demonstrate that Raja pride and Raja excellence. And our next group to tell you about is our California Cadet Corps. They do have a website that's linked here and you can uh, learn more about them on the YouTube channel that they have. Our cadets work hard to develop courage, action, dedication, endurance, and toughness. We have a great cadet corps program, so I want to encourage you to be a part and consider the cadet corps, as well as our color guard and winter guard. Here you'll see a moment ago you saw them in the band slide. Let's see if this one will play. Is 
got a glitch. Well, and I hope that you will consider our Winter Guard and Color Guard as an opportunity also for next year. And with that, don't forget also this month we are taking the mid-year iReady assessment in English and in math. I believe English is doing that test right now and math is getting ready to start this coming week. So let's do our best. It will help us see how much you've grown since the beginning of the school year and how to plan to help you close the gap and learn the rest of the year. So please take the test seriously. Also, don't forget Tuesdays and Thursdays at 735. Your teachers are offering that intervention time to support you and help you learn. It's a great time for you to get uh, questions answered, extra help on some of those assignments you're struggling with. And our joke of the day today is not me. You can rest assured you're going to have fun. You don't have to put up with me this time. We have a special guest. Uh, Mr. Martinez, have you heard of the Knights of the Round Table before? The Round Table, yes. All right. Do you know which knight invented the Round Table? It's not Sir Mix-a-Lot? No, it was Sir Comfrance. A <laughs> uh, good math joke there. Thank you, thank you to Mr. Martinez and Ms. Douglas in our uh, counseling department. And our final thought for the day. I hope that you all got to hear this amazing young woman yesterday in the inauguration. She is the youngest inaugural poet in U.S. history. She is the Youth Poet Laureate, became that at the age of 17. And yesterday she was the a uh, poet to share a tradition since John F. Kennedy began that with his presidential inauguration in 1960 when Robert Frost read a poem that he had written. She wrote one for the day, and one of the very last lines, I was so impressed. The entire nation was transfixed on her. And I hope you really listen to the entire poem. But it ended with this. There is always light. If only we are brave enough to see it. If only... We are brave enough to be it. I want to encourage all of you, all of my Rajas, no matter what happens out in the community, out in our world, when there's division or people with different opinions, the bottom line is we need to show that Raja pride and have integrity and excellence and be the light. Be the light. Don't just see it, but be the light. Let's stand for excellence. With that, I want to say thank you. Be kind to one another as always, and stay classy, Indio.